Hello everyone and welcome back to the fantastic Sapien Sun and Cyberpunk 2077 where this is going to be the final and last of the fantastic playthrough that I've been uh, trying to bring to you over the last couple of weeks and months and however long it's been. This is the uh, finisher and the last video and the first uh, playlist and playthrough I've finished on the channel so um, that's it's wonderful news, it's brilliant. Um, it's going to be quite sad to uh, see this wonderful game go and um, you know go into the next, which is going to be Mass Effect. Um, so please stay tuned for that one, uh, which you're going to see on the channel. I'm hoping to get a trailer going um, for the channel and just trying to do a bit more, uh, you know, make it a little bit more professional. But besides from all of that and um, all the love and support you give me, and to everyone who's watching this, we're going to finish the game, end it on a high note, and. Uh, yeah, obviously you know that we've uh, decided to keep our body. Um, we're going to go back into the world. I do want that ride up into the sunset with Pan Am, so um, I'm just going to have to do it. I'm going to go into this this final stage of the game, the ending. All oh, right, looking at mad defense. Is he going to? Is he? Well, no. You see, I don't want to. No, I'm not going to lead on positivity. I'll, uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'll say it better than Johnny. I'll say it better than Johnny. <clears throat> I'll, say it. I'll say it better than V to Johnny. Johnny, you've been Keanu Reeves made flesh. You've been the anarchist Neo. You've been lovely. You've been beautiful. Uh, let me just... Can I just... You right? Look at, no, look at me. Look at me. It'll be lovely, mate. Um, I'll see you in the next world. I'm going to go back in Pan Am. Um, to be fair, also, subsequently, I know that it's going to be sound weird now, but I just... Yeah, I don't know how. It's cause it's, fuck it, I'll play this, by the way. But just remember that it makes me sound like a massive pussy. For fuck's sake, defend yourself. You're not even trying. Massive pussy. You know, you taught me to let go sometimes. Save my strength for one last big bang. Well, all right, okay. <laughs> I, thought, I thought mine was better, but okay. Uh, Johnny, I'll see you in the next world, my man. Goodbye. Bye. Stop fighting. Okay. Uh, what's uh, cringy as fuck, but okay. Bye. Bye. Bye, ever man. Have we left Pan Am, by the way? Have we left Pan Am just to fuck off in the Arasaka attack? <laughs> I hope she's rescuing me. <laughs> Jagging me out, because I think, what was it? I went into the water, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. that hello hello uh is that a reference to siri swallow i just want to hear the okay Oh, there she is. Join Pan Am. Okay. This is the uh, the last little look of a uh, nice city bit, isn't it? Okay. Um, everyone out there in the wider world, take it in. Uh, we're going to have a nice chat. I'm going to try to keep my uh, own commentary to a minimum when we talk to her. Because I assume we're just going to ride up into the sunset down there. And I'll have enough time to talk then. So, um, right. This damn. Remember it well. Our beginnings. I did not know what to make of you then. What did you make of me? I wondered if you were anything like me. Carrying within you something damn important to prove to yourself. I was. We both were. Bet you had no idea we'd end up like this, though. <laughs> Truer words I've never heard. Night City chewed us up good, didn't it? Doesn't matter, don't think. We'll forget it all, tanning our backsides in the Arizona sun. Time and perspective. Need a bit of both. <laughs> Look at the city. Somewhere in there, those bastards from Arasaka are wondering how they lost everything. They'll figure it out one day. But we'll be long gone.
Should have done this long ago. Gotten some perspective. On the city. My life there. The city of dreams. I'd gladly kick the balls off the idiot who thought that one up. Pan Am. After Makoshi. Everything there. I'm glad we made it. Here. Together. And that we're leaving. Together. Bid the city farewell. We won't see it again. Hmm. I think that's the right option to do with uh, Pan Am. Street Kid, we came here with no dignity, we're going to leave with none. We've conquered Night City. And yeah, we're good. We're on to the next chapter of our lives. Um, hopefully Cyberpunk 2078 is going to be quite good. I'm hoping for it is going to be going. And uh, maybe Arizona trying to get V back on his feet. I don't know, maybe. Um, or maybe it's a one-off. I don't know. But yeah, it's been good. Nothing left here from uh, nothing left uh, for me. Yeah, fantastic. Used to think of it as my city, bonded together. I owned it. It owned me. Nothing to keep me there now, though. I feel the same way. What on earth was I thinking? Thought the city would help us see ourselves for who we were, both of us. Yes, but damn it, it's like a damned dealer at a damned kabuki casino. And I went all in, and I lost everything. Almost everything. Yes, I suppose you're right. We owe that shithole something. But we're getting out. At last. Placing our bets on something better, somewhere else. Shit, V. You're bleeding again. Gonna figure this out, Pan Am. Vic's drug helps a bit now. And once we get to where we're going, we'll try all your contacts. They've pulled some of our folks out of deep, deep cesspits. They'll help. You'll see. Good to hear. It really is. Speaking of which, what about our plan? Everything is set and confirmed. We'll meet our people soon, gather our gear, and set off. Yes, the road could be hard. But as long as we don't fuck up, we should cross the border in a matter of hours. Let's get out of here. Sure. But V, get a good look at the city. One last time. If you need to, I mean. I'll wait in the car. I don't think there's anything much to say, to be fair. Uh, <laughs> anyone else out there? Uh, what were your words when you came to this point in the playthrough? And what are you going to say when you get to this point? Um, let me know in the comments below. And... Yeah, step away. Later, uh, later night city. Well, well, night city. Good night and good luck. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't the music I was hoping for, if I'm going to be honest with you, but, uh, could you just turn that off, love, please? Oh, cheers, thank you. Oh, she died. Hanako died. Hmm. This is rot. I've heard enough. Okay. Lovely. Uh, this is fantastic. It reminds. It does remind me a little, a little bit of uh, Fallout New Vegas, maybe a little bit. Most of our people have already crossed. They'll wait for us on the other side. And our souvenirs from Makoshi. If we so much as approached the gates with tech like that, they would wipe us out without warning. We've checked. Arasaka has people at every border crossing. But we know a road less traveled. Right, okay. Sounds nice. Uh, okay, just hope uh, this is going to be better than it did for me and Jack. Yeah. Oh, no way. Blast from the past. That's, yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace, man. I love it. Nostalgia. Uh, this has been 200... Two, uh, I think it's been 295 uh, hours specifically this playthrough alone, um, and I've just had fucking so much, I've had so much fun with it. This is it. This is the end. So yeah, let's invoke his name. <laughs> oh, it's been, oh, I'm so happy. I'm genuinely just so happy. Arasaka, deja vu. 
Did I say something wrong? Just reminded me of Jackie and the Arasaka job. I think you know how that ended. I'm sorry, V. Come on. You had nothing to do with that. And anyway, things will be different now. Gotta be. She looks there is sad. one thing I will miss about Night City. Go on, I was What's about that? to say. The food. The tie on 7th and Haywood. The pierogies down by the docks. Mm. Seriously? You'll understand once you've ridden with us for a while. <laughs> uh, things I could possibly miss on bringing... Yeah, go on. Let's be sweet and saucy like that. Yeah, she's Pan Am. She's worth it. Just realized... Already bringing everything I could possibly miss. Pan Am. Girl, are you running from Night City or going to your granny's for cookies and milk? Got it or that storm will catch you. Screw you. Oh, he's not dead. Oh. Hey, good to hear you, Chum. How's things? Give me a month and I'll be as good as new. I told you all I'd be fine, didn't I? Come on, Mitch. You weren't nearly that confident after Mikoshi. None of us were. He was in bed for weeks, a vegetable. It would have been the end of him if not for his synapses, toughened, made almost fry-proof in panzers back in the war. Did save every one of our asses, though. Pity Saul's not with us. Or Teddy. Or Bobby. Or Scorpion. They would have kicked your ass out of whack after that move with the panzer. Then hugged you until you puked. I know, Pan Am, I know. Give us all a chance at a new start. Let's not fuck it up. I'm glad you're with us, V. See you soon. See you soon, Mitch. Oh, it's lovely to have him alive. I picked a good option there. I can smell the ozone, even through the air conditioning. It's that storm getting close. So there's been weeks, can I just, just as the timeline goes, so has there been weeks since we did Mikoshi and that's all fixed up? Yeah, because I feel that's a little bit of information, like the whole clearing up, getting the Elder Caldo camp ready, to go that kind of thing mm. I'm glad I, I am so glad I picked uh, okay yeah we've arrived Pan Am you're time. fantastic right where are we going where are we going oh back to the camp okay hmm last little hurrah last little talk through maybe Hey, Mitch. Hey, let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? Hey, how are things? Is everything arranged? Everything's almost set. So you found it? Where we thought it would be? All plans laid and in place. They are indeed. Come see us when you're done. We'll talk about the who, what, and how. Aw, all right. Fantastic. Okay. I'm not sure what there is to, left to do, to be fair. Um, discuss the plans with Pan Am and Mitch. Okay. So we're planning to go to Arizona. That's the next step of whatever is going on. Okay. Anything to say? No? You good? V, let me be thoroughly honest. Oh, shit. You have us. Okay. Cool. Excuse me. Just a sec. Okay. You look like shit. Thank you. Do the great outdoors truly serve you so poorly? Well, uh, Butch Cassidy, uh, <laughs> Great Outdoors seems to have done wonders for you. Well, yeah, exact opposite, man. It's just... Exactly the contrary, cowboy. Starting to feel really alive for once. <laughs> I always did love the optimism of youth. Mm. Bad thoughts are cheap, but they smear over the truth like mud. You think you run out of fuel before the stop? You will. You think you're about to die? Your days are numbered. Now you had better ready yourself. We've got a border to cross and a storm to run from. It's a hell of a lot for one day. I understand. It's okay. Um, I've just realized something then. I know it sounds weird, but I just had an epiphany, and I don't know if you feel the same way. Um, <laughs> I never know how to start these videos, right? But anyway, that's besides the point, because then we get to this point where I get... A little bit more comfortable with talking behind the camera and everything like that and what have you. But I was just thinking then, I had an epiphany and just one of my lot ideas. Uh, 
Pan Am, and might have done the most cliche thing possible with the, the entire thing about the relationship. It's just because I'm just thinking then she did literally bring me in, and um, we went on our dates, did we? She went, on, we went on our three dates. Um, then she introduced me to her family, and uh, then, I don't know why, but I just feel married to the girl now. And uh, I was thinking how immersive that feels, and um, how well written it is, because I said this last time and the last before. Just the connection between two and a man and a woman, you know, that specific relationship. And again, no, no disrespect or offence to anyone who's a homosexual nature, whatever you like that. That's fine. Um, but when a man and a woman written together is quite a unique thing because it, it it is quite hard to do, especially if you have no idea. Especially if you're a man writing for both parts or a woman writing for both parts, in fact. So it's quite nice to get a good good dynamic, and it's quite lovely. Um, the immersive world. Um, and it's a fantastic creation by CD Projekt Red. It's been lovely, fascinating, it's been lovely. The side, uh, the side missions and the fact of, I say this before, the fact of getting like Keanu Reeves is the coup de grace of the entire franchise that you have just mustered. It's just so good. Just the fact of you getting Keanu Reeves is just a miracle. I don't know how they did that and all these different actors and stuff. Uh, the music was um, um, unique and made fresh. You just put 2.0. Um, it's I, I, I just I literally gush about it because I know it came out with a bunch of bullshit, okay? Um, but <laughs> this was their first. I know it's, it's no, I know it's no excuse, okay? I understand there's no excuse. It was their first little foray into the game, this kind of uh, franchise. But from The Witcher 3, I generally think that CD Projekt Red are going to be the next big game in the next set, decade or whatever like that, because. When all the other games and uh, video game developers just kind of crash because they continuously put out worser and worser content. And then you have like CD Projekt Red who, granted, they did do Witcher 1, 2 and 3 with that hitch and it's fine. Always continuously improving till they, I don't know, erupted in some massive ejaculate fucking a a triple A stars Witcher 3. Fantastic. 2012 it came out, wasn't it? Fantastic, right? And... Um, it's just been beautiful. It's been fantastic so far, and um, but this is the last little little, little uh, what digression. Last little mind uh, going through. <laughs> I just want to dump all that stuff on you. Sorry, I do apologise. My thoughts and uh, the things about the game. Um, a little bit the graphics wise, a little bit iffy. The side missions again. A few side missions that I didn't get to do because of glitches, and I just went fuck it, whatever. Um, but yeah. All along the watchtower. Uh, this is literally going to be titled The Ending. I'm going to try and do something a bit special with the uh, thumbnail. But this is also the first uh, playthrough on the channel that I finished. So <laughs> it's been lovely. I'll keep gushing about it because I keep procrastinating because I know it's the end. Oh, fuck it. Let's go in. Hello, everyone. Need any help preparing? No. It's all packed and ready to go. We were waiting for you. That's all. Oh. All right, so the plan, one more time. We won't take any official crossing. I think you know that, right? So there's this old smuggling tunnel, forgotten. We'll aim to use that. It's near the wall. Okay, uh, uh, a gate in the wall, I like it. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's, we're doing a fantastic, uh, what is it? Uh, Fur v? Fast and Furious. Hang on, what, what Fast and Furious is it? We're, this exact fucking thing. Anyway, so you found a gate in the wall. Clever. Not in as much as under. It's one of those old smuggling tunnels. Thankfully, it's still open. It wasn't the easiest thing to locate after all these years. But now, nothing can stop us now. Oh, lovely. Uh, defense systems. Hang on a minute. Anybody, anybody like to take an interest in them? Well, Arasaka, maybe. There might be a drone or something, maybe, but... What's gotten and into you? Nobody's likely to spot us. Sooner or later, the border guards will realize something's not right. But by the time they get around to it, we'll be far, far away. Plus, that storm's a true stroke of luck. It should cover our tracks. We'll need more than a storm to keep the corpos off our tail. Got bigger concerns than us. And even if they don't, just let them try and catch us. They'll regret it. Look, tunnel's cool and all, but we gotta get there first. And what about security up and down the border? Whole area's brimming with tech. Drones on perpetual patrol? Heavier stuff, too, maybe. Don't worry. We know what's there and what to do about it. And Carol and Cassidy will keep the corpos off our tail. Great. And once we've crossed, what then? We'll make for our meeting point, join the rest of our people there, then we'll move on towards Tucson. And once there, 
We call the shots, right? We know the roads like the back of our hand. And down in Arizona, we have some old favors to call in. <laughs> so even if I wanted to, I got nothing to worry about. Starting today, it's not all on your back. You're no longer alone, V. You'll get used to it. It's nice. <laughs> Aww. But do I say thanks? Just, yeah, thanks. Oh, no, I feel like I owe you. Well, I do owe her in a way. Like, I'm not. V? This is, <laughs> I, yeah, I do fucking owe you, mate. This. Whatever you like, if you want me to do a Fast and Furious 5 down in uh, Brazil, I'll do that with you, love. It's, you, you got it. You, <laughs> she's gold. She's like a unicorn, all right? Looks like I've got a debt of gratitude to pay now. Oh, come the fuck on. We're all riding in the same wagon. And thanks to you, we stole enough Arasaka tech to build an aircraft carrier. Believe me, on the list of those wanted dead or alive, our names are right under yours. Well, time to move before that storm finds us. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Yeah, <laughs> uh, get in the basilisk. Oh, you want to come ride with me? Okay, let's go together. Oh, hang on, sorry. Hey, hey, love, sorry. <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> I need to go close the fuck out again. Uh, Jesus. I was on the. Okay. Get in, B. Jesus. All right, love. Jesus. Jesus, take the fucking home, love. We're ready. After you, Pan Am. Are we all set? Mm hmm. So, Jack in. Let's get the hell out of here. You got it. This is your big new beginning. So, you have to start it like a real nomad behind the proverbial wheel. Mostly go straight, go around the bigger holes, and don't lose the rest. Got it? I will deal with the nitro. The mix will go straight to the cylinders. If I don't sink it just right manually, it could blow us to bits. I think that's best avoided. Fuck. I just realized something. What? The border wall. It wasn't here when I was little. I never imagined it would be. But I had this inkling that everything was different up north. That some bright fucking future awaited me there. Yeah, I think I know what comes next. Once you wound up on the other side and nothing changed, you thought Night City was the answer. Everything would change there. Yes. And you know the tale's end, too. I'm returning. Right back to where I started. Fuck. No. Might be the same place on the other side, same space, but you're different. Totally different. All in all, you're right. And I have you. And the rest of these clowns. It's been a wonderful day. I'm really yeah, I'm really. Worse. Sorry, fuck me. You caught me off guard there. So we're just going quiet. Okay, let's go. Oh, I was going to say there, it's just been so beautiful to, um, you know, such an immersive relationship with all these people. I, I do feel I've, uh, you know, become friends with these guys. And maybe I'll, it would have been better maybe if they I went to corporate. Well. And this is also. Carol, Cassidy, oh. get moving. I'm heading west and activating the jammers. They've marked me. I'm turning east to get them off your tail. Good luck, okay. kids. See you on the other side. Bye, guys. Stay, stay ready. <laughs> Aww. I, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have liked to do this with any other character, Pan Am. Um, I, I do wonder, by the way. I was wondering then. Okay. Say goodbye to Night City. It's your last chance. Got nothing left to say. I wish I, I, I would do wonder what would have happened if uh, Jackie was still alive, baby. Maybe we would have uh, done the corpo line. I don't know. Um, Start her up. The wheel is yours. Let's ride. Let's go, baby. Exactly what you wanted. A new beginning. Don't slow down, Pan Am. Not yet. The vibe you see is just so beautiful. The soundtrack as well is also well done. 
This is what I look like. <laughs> I should have got changed for the event, but um, I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it just vibe out. I'm gonna smoke a spliff and uh, just listen to the soundtrack. And um, thank you very much for everyone who's uh, coming across my lovely little videos. I'm gonna lawyer up a fat one. Fade away with this beautiful game. Perfect. All great, Pan Am. We're going home. Insulation, you're done. Of course, decent ripper is harder to find out there than a four-star hotel. So actually, how about you just stop by when you're back in the city, huh? Think I could swing a little discount for an old regular like you. Till next time, V. V, is it true what they say? You rolling around in the dirt with the Aldecaldos? Have you lost your mind, mijo? Didn't you get in enough trouble already, eh? Night City was too boring for you. Estás loco, eh? Crazy, completely crazy. <sighs> you t Just watch out for yourself, okay? Don't do anything stupid. Because I'm not going to a second funeral. see some old faces. Don't forget to stop by Mama Wells, okay? Just give me a call before, and I'll make my special chilaquiles just for you. <laughs> Cuídate, V. Hey, V! Long time no see. Let me guess, you still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah, I left all that. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks for everything. It wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders, I, I can't even describe it. All right, enough lecturing. Take it easy, man. Hey, V. Listen, I don't think I'll make it back to camp tonight. Sandstorm's coming our way. No choice but to sit tight and hold it out. Just wanted to say, uh... I know this isn't the first time. You know, that we had plans. Never realized how hard being a chief would be. Always looked so easy from the outside. I'm just... 
I'm so lucky to have you, V. You can't even begin to imagine how much it means to me. Storm's closing in. 30 seconds to blackout. Guess it's time to go. I'll make it up to you. I promise. V. Hey. Christ, that run we did. My heart's still pounding. A pack of nomads versus Arasaka. Oh, oh, oh. I mean... The odds were totally stacked against us. I didn't know if we'd get out alive. But hey, we made it. And you know why? Because you were the one leading the charge, V. The craziest, baddest merc from Pacifica to the Appalachians. I don't know what you're up to right now, what your plans are. But just remember, we walk through hell and back with you, brother, anytime. Until next time, eh? Take care. Hey, Rogue here. I wanted to... Oh, voicemail. <laughs> Why not? V? I was wondering if you could pass the message along to Johnny. Two messages, actually. One, that he's an arrogant, egotistical son of a bitch. And second, that it was nice to talk to him again. Both of you, take care of yourselves, okay? Hey, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, well, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us. For me and Randy. This city needs more people like you. I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Before samurai committed to seppuku, they wrote Jisei, a death poem. It contained their final thoughts about life, about death. I have read many of them of late. Some are truly works of beauty. Yet, I am not a samurai, so I bid you farewell with simple words. Rot in hell, Xero. Hey, V. Jefferson Peral is here. You know, mayor of Night City. I'm calling about our recent program to tackle homelessness. What would you say about being the head of my security detail, huh? As you know, the number of people I can trust are few and far between. Next week, we're going to be raising the city's taxes. So, things might get a little hairy. Come by. We'll hammer out a good deal for you. I'm no any pincher when it comes to safety. All right. Well, we'll be in touch, V. You, so I laid out a quick tarot. I know, I know the reading's not as strong without you here, but we haven't seen each other for so long, and I, well, one thing led to another. You know what I drew? The chariot, the lovers, and the sun. <laughs> Looks like you've got a good life ahead of you out in the Badlands. Good luck, V. Be free. Is that it? <laughs> Is that it? No more uh, phone calls for um, lovely people. Oh, by the way, from that entire group, by the way, a Misty. Uh, I didn't like the Pan Am one. I think you could have done that a little bit better, but um, I kind of get that when she's off doing jobs and um, V's at home and doing that kind of stuff, and then also being a, you know, a chieftain and uh, a CEO, or whatever it is, and then also like a lover at home and all the rest of it. Yeah, I get it. It's all good. Um, oh man. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say something, by the way, when, um, what's it, Takimura? What's that? Did Takimura tell me to go fuck myself? <laughs> Did he tell me to go fuck myself? Is that what, what that was? I was just like, I saved you. Go back in the shooter. Go fuck That's that, whatever. It's all good. Um, this is a weird song. Uh, 
<laughs> this, this is the end. It's uh, been fantastic, so uh, bear with me. Um, I'm going to put it out as straight as it is. Um, I'm, really th- I'm just really thankful for to have all you people come uh, and, you know, have fucking hang out with me, man. Thank you very much for doing that. It's been brilliant. I can't wait for, I can't wait for Mass Effect. I'm still playing through uh, The Witcher 3. Um, I'm still going through uh, Novigrad at the moment. Brilliant. Um, I'm going to keep going till the end. Um, I'm going to give these people their full go. Um, if you want to chill out with me, you can go if you wish to. But I'm going to stay till the end. Obviously, it's a good day, you know, but, uh, recording it and what have you like that. Um, but I want to see who did all this stuff and give them credit too. See the pretty red, the board directors, fucking all these beautiful poets, boys. Ah, oh, fantastic. Go on there. Okay, the payroll thing is t- starting to take the piss, I think. <laughs> that's fucking stupid. Well, oh, fuck. Okay, the mapping, yeah, okay, that's fine. But the payroll, I was like, what? <laughs> Get fucked. 
This is some nice stuff by the way, as well. Anyway, English voiceovers. Oh, fantastic, lovely. And here we go, the fantastic voice actors. Yes, it's yes. Judy Alvarez, Carla, Robbie, yep, you yep, fantastic. Evelyn Parker, fantastic, yeah, fantastic. Kerry Willing, yeah. This is, this is, see, I wanted to get to this bit. <laughs> I want to show these voice actors. Okay, yeah. Additional voice actors, fantastic. You stand out there for me. Uh. Jonathan Joss, okay. Alexis Rodney, maybe. <laughs> All these voice actors, oh, that's fantastic if it is. Johnny Young, uh, and the voiceovers, yeah, for the Polish boys as well. Get it all in there. I don't mind showing this sort of thing. See, no, if you want to watch the credits, don't watch the credits. If you do, have a smoke with me, you know what I mean? It's a wonderful video, uh, and I think, uh, as I as I said, they they took the time to make this beautiful game. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna take the time to fucking, you know what I mean. Lovely. Maybe it's just me watching too many uh, Marvel movies, which well, I haven't been playing at the moment. It's just, it is just one of, it's just one of those fantastic games which just stays with you because I don't know why. Maybe it just takes so long to fucking finish the game that uh, <laughs> if you if you get to the end. And don't feel anything. Like, what, what's the point? Um, but it's been genuinely fucking uh, it's just wonderful. Um, it's been trying at times. It is. Don't get me wrong. It has been trying at times, and I, I, I do wish that some things were a little bit better. Variety mostly. Variety about the guns because LMGs. There's only two. And I had to keep fucking just, just replacing it with the same one over and over again. Um, before 2.0, I had to, it, you just bought it, right? Every couple of levels, you went to uh, Kempeki Plaza or Kempeki uh, Market. Uh, I think that's the right one. The Chinese market, the, the round dish kind of thing. Uh, you go downstairs, it's in the circle kind of market thing with a uh, cyber deck kind of uh, market on top. Mostly on top, yeah. I hope, I'm hoping I'm thinking of the same place. Go there, and uh, yeah, you just buy an LMG there, a legendary LMG. Um, you just go there every couple of levels, and it kind of, uh, you know, boosts your level kind of thing. But uh, they fix they fixed that, so you can't do that in 2.0. So, um, after the after the last, this is the thing. That's the only fucking LMG that was available, and uh, and after 2.0, la, uh, well landed, and uh, we got the fantastic update. And I think I added a lot of shit, and it did make it more playable. It's fantastic, especially the kind of uh, different things about it and going about your business. And it's, it's just so interesting because if you the whole uh, additional stuff that added with the DLC. In everything, I think you could. You can, it's just fun. It is a good game, um, and that's just as it is. It's, it is a fantastic game, and I'm glad I bought Phantom Liberty uh, as well. It was good. It's wonderful. I think I enjoyed it. My I, yeah, <laughs> I think uh, Mass Effect was one of the first games I like. Kind of uh, preferred, mm, I'd say. <coughs> and uh, when it came to um, like, I like his story. Um, 
not driven by um, any sort of the gameplay. Don't get me wrong. I love gameplay. I love gameplay that's difficult and makes me uh, think that it's skill based, you know. And kind of Mass Effect is a right at doing that, kind of in, in, in and out. I mean, I wanted a little bit difficult where I wanted the AI to be a little bit more smarter, or I don't know. Maybe if <laughs> I'm trying to think of Mass Effect, maybe if they went more uh, XCOM uh, rather than I don't know Call of Duty, I suppose. Do you know what I mean? Maybe. Um, but so far, uh, it's been pretty good. I, <laughs> I'm generally about thinking because there's another game I could play. It's called Far Cry Primal. I'm sure you've uh, heard about it. Maybe if you haven't, but I could play that because it would, t it would literally take me. T I think it might take me ten hours to do it. And to be fair, if I had interest, I probably could do it in a ten-hour stream uh, Sunday. I could actually, to be fair, it's actually quite quick to do. It takes nothing. Nothing at all to get all this stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I will do it, actually, to, to be fair. Maybe I will. Uh, ten weekends. Thor pills. Thor pills. Um, I do that weekly. Bi weekly. Ooh. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, I'm just, I'm literally just talking this because I'm waiting for all the lovely credits to roll out. Um,. Yeah, <laughs> it's been so. It's just it has been just so lovely, and uh, it's just been wonderful. I mean, I can't imagine that uh, a more awesome thing to do than this game. Just play wise, and see if you want to get your feet wet with gaming. And I'm lucky enough to have a PS5, so I can you know record it in good quality for you guys when you know if you want to come by and watch it. And, Sometimes it's a little bit more difficult to record sometimes, but um, when it comes to these games, the writing is just... And the effort as well, especially because they care about the gamer, and I just think that kind of love... Because, you know, you know what, this is the thing, it's been so... Well, I'm sure there's a phrase out there that could be uh, best to describe all this kind of crap that I'm trying to describe myself now. Which is just that, you know, you could start out with a good cause, but after a while, uh, you end up just fighting against yourself. Like, I don't know, fighting against a corporation become corporate, so, I guess. <laughs> uh, there's wiser men out there than, than me. And... It's been such a good like, back and forth between what everything is, and it does have such good re replayability as well. Absolutely wonderful uh, replayability with this, because you can go, I went the street path, okay? I didn't go the n Nomad, and I know this sounds weird, but even for, they go no, uh, Nomad for Immersive or, or whatever it is. Um, corporation, and they, but the thing is, it, if it's... If it is, okay, just the Nomad and you go through the whole route, would you not want to go, uh, pick the Nomad life path and then subsequently go and do, I don't know, the Corpo finisher? Maybe? Sounds interesting. Like, I'm a city boy wanting, looking out. Yeah, if that makes sense. Yeah. And uh, thanks to Pan Am, I found something a little bit more special. That's what I think happened for V. I was like, hang on a minute, <laughs> hang on a minute, I don't have to go deeper into the fucking bush, into the fucking jungle, I can go out and chill out with you lot, and <laughs> there's this hot chickies down there, and I was like, yeah, come chill with us, it's fine, I was like, okay, let's go down there, have a bit of a to do, and uh, see where we're at, and I think the entire process is fucking amazing, um, <laughs> I love the, f I love the fact, like, in my head, like, because it's so perfectly done between the dynamic of Pan Am and uh, uh, V, right? When it comes to that kind of thing, that I swear it must have been, <laughs> it must have been so easy, because I think it might have been like a couple that wrote it. Okay, uh, you a Polish couple, <laughs> you write for V, I write for uh, Pan Am, and we will, you know, 
and they just write down their relationship and how they met and everything like that and just make it a bit more cyberpunky. I don't know, <laughs> like, if you've got the great American tale and it's all romantic and beautiful and very, and you're like, okay, just cross out, I don't know, John Wayne, cross out John Wayne and write V and then cross out, I don't know, uh, Gina Carano with uh, Pan Am and there you go. Boy, <laughs> fantastic, see? It works out, that, and, and when it comes to the movie, uh, that's that's as it's going to be in my fantasy right now. As I am in the middle of making another spliff, because I thought um, that I would have a little bit of a smoke and chill with you at the end here. Um, and to be fair, it's not that bad. Uh, <laughs> and I didn't think there'd be so many people to thank. But anyway, <clears throat> this is based. This is my tour, so not yours. And as I said, you don't have to stay. I'm here anyway. Hannah Takeda, Evelyn Barker. Beautiful. Right. Are you sure? See, the thing is, I do forget that it's uh, not always it's a Polish. This is it's, it's a Polish game. It is not a English game or American or what have you like that. So it is. Tran it did have to be translated into English as well, which I quite like because I think um, there's a bit of narcissism in that, so that happens in the West. But then again, I don't really like the Eastern games as well, where it's basically like micromanaging bullshit, which is crap. I don't want to grind all day, thank you, and I like good story. Maybe if it do, <laughs> maybe I'll check some out on the channel. I'll get uh, like I don't know whatever the space equivalent of um, the Chinese sorry the Chinese equivalent of uh, what the fuck is that game that came out recently? I'm sure I've seen advertisements for it. And it's just been beautiful. Uh, oh, I've never played it before. I think I played it on the PC. No, it's not Everlight, is it? No, it's not. Hang on, it's gonna annoy me now. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? It's uh <laughs> Thanks for staying with me by the way as well. Um Let's see. Well, I want to play Warhammer 2. Uh that by the way, that's the last thing I want to do when I get a really good PC and play the hammer. I'm just thinking there's I'm looking there no. Uh let's see. The walking dead no, come on, what is it called? It's gonna annoy me. Uh You know the game where uh, you're essentially uh... Hmm. Final Fantasy Final Fantasy Rebirth? No. Oh, what is it called? I'm gonna I'm 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 gonna fucking kick myself. Um. Can't remember. Oh fuck! I oh, was oh, sorry, sorry. Unless it sounds so fucking retarded if you're if you're coming into this video now, but you're all screaming at me. I know you are. Uh, what the fuck is it called? It's called. It's inspired by D and D, by the way. And I can't remember what it's called because it just came out. And I have not played the original one even like that. Original Sin? Is it called Original Sin? Is it called Original Sin? Hang on. It's not, is it? Original Sin. Divinity Original Sin. It's not, it's the other one, but I'll play that as well. Can I play it on the PS5? Is that true? No? Uh, Baldur's Gate! Yes! But oh, sorry, that was too loud. Uh, <clears throat> It's Baldur's Gate. It's Baldur's Gate 3. It's Baldur's Gate. I meant Baldur's Gate. Yes, Baldur's Gate. I want to play Baldur's Gate and fucking do that shit because it's the same fucking game and it was like that and blah, 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 blah. Anyway. Uh, 
Okay, we're coming to the end of our lovely little session now. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it'll take this fucking long. This has basically been like a live stream. Um, I might cut this out. Uh, <laughs> I might fucking cut all this shit out. I might do. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, lovely little video. Rest in peace. And uh, thank you very much for coming by. God bless you. TTFN. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.